1895, the building burns down. It's catastrophic. Everything's gone. The only thing left standing after the fire are the brick walls and the columns with the capitals attached at the top. I'm Mark Cutney and I'm the conservator for the university. I've got my eye on looking for evidence of original material condition during the construction process. Our thoughts going into the project are that the only thing that survived from Jefferson's period of the rotunda were the masonry walls and the openings in those walls. And if you look at blueprints of the building, there are these cavities at either end of these rooms that in the case of the lower west oval, they weren't using these cavities. So when we did the probe, we did discover that there was early debris that very possibly had not been touched since being deposited there at the time of the fire. You know, once we spent an hour or so going through the material, we quickly found that there was a lot of glass, a lot of nails, a lot of pieces of tin, and a lot of charcoal. Previous to this, we didn't have any surviving metal or evidence of Jefferson's roof from before the fire. And what's interesting is that some of the pieces that we have found clearly look like they were painted. And some of them, it, it's pretty clear by eye, some of these appear that they were painted red. Whether or not it's a primer or whether it was a finish coat, we really don't know at this point, but, but we have physical evidence for the first time. I think we're fortunate in that there was no purpose in opening these cavities up in the last 115 years and using them for something else. Hopefully here we can close these back up and leave something for the next generation, but also leave a record of what we found.